Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Heart of Iron 4 as we are playing with Germany. Alright guys, so a lot of people were concerned about uh, this up here, the justification of war goals against us. That's just the, the Hungarians, guys. I, I happened to check that and I didn't say anything on camera. I probably should have. Um, but yeah, it's just the, uh, the Hungarians. They are working on take Austria by force. Now, why that's considered justifying against us or our allies, I don't know, considering the fact that we are not allied with the Austria, so I'm not sure why that is. Maybe it's because uh, Austria is a country we typically annex, and maybe that's why we're being notified, or perhaps, because I haven't actually had this happen before, it didn't happen in my last German playthrough, uh, perhaps Austria gets an event to ask Germany to help them uh, if, uh, you know, the Hungarians attack them. I don't know. We'll just see, guys. Um, but that's what that is regarding. A lot of people were concerned it was Poland or, or France or something like that uh, that was currently attempting to get a war goal against us. But nothing to be concerned about, guys. It's just the Hungarians. All right, so let's go ahead. Well, first of all, uh, I want to show you we went ahead and named, named some of the uh, divisions. Uh, I tried to spread the, the love out and pick a different name, uh, name from everybody who offered one. Uh, and so we got Kaiser's Guards for the infantry. A lot of people were suggesting that one. Um, for historical purposes. Uh, another person suggested Iron Shields was actually Kaiser Iron Shields, and it was in German. <laughs> but we're going to name them in English uh, because I don't I don't know why I'd want to uh, have a, a German name for the, for the tanks that I would struggle to pronounce every single time I had to, had to call them that. So it's going to be in English. It's going to be Iron Shields. Remove the Kaiser since that's a lot of Kaiser here in the names. Uh, and then the cavalry units are Death's Head Hussars. So that's a pretty cool name. I like that one. Uh, so we still have uh, paratroopers. The uh, I wouldn't suggest any names for motorized because I doubt we'll keep those around. Uh, and then the mountain troops. That's the other one uh, that you guys can pick a name for. So what we're going to go ahead and do, since I'm talking about motorized here, guys, we're going to go ahead and change up these motorized. They don't even have good division designs anyway. They're just they're literally just motorized. And frankly, um, I just don't see myself using motorized troops. We might use we might create mechanized divisions. Uh, we probably will eventually. Or we could just focus on tanks too. That would be one option as well, and just do what we did in the Fran French one. I've, I've usually always went and got ahead of got mechanized infantry divisions, but God, in that French one, having all those tanks was really, really nice. So I'm almost thinking of sticking to tanks. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change these out to iron shields because, frankly, we don't have uh, the experience to change up those divisions right now. So let's go ahead and throw these guys into the train army. We also have some units done. So let's take two of them, put them on that yellow army so that we can pull this cavalry out. Uh, they'll be up here for right now, and we'll just move them over to here So this is going to be our garrison force eventually we're going to want to build some cavalry divisions um, We're going to give these guys we're going to want to take their artillery and the recon companies uh, Give them MPs uh, And we'll have to do that once we have a bit of experience uh, And then the other troops that are training can go on into that red army there Right there all right fantastic uh, And then we have these guys finished up, so we're gonna go ahead and get some whoops I meant to train more. My bad. I meant to train more first and then do that. That's okay. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get five more coming uh, to Mecklenburg into the training army. And then we're also going to go ahead and start training some iron shields. I know the division designs aren't full yet, and I know we're lacking of equipment. That's okay, guys. I just want to get them training so that we'll have some uh, whenever the next conflict erupts. Now, one thing I didn't think about, guys, is the fact that going down this... Uh, this particular branch, or just really any of these old history branches, uh, going to war is not going to be as quick as it is with the Nazis. Uh, the Nazis have uh, national focuses that cause conflict much, much sooner. Um, so, so yeah, I, I don't know if we'll be going to war as quickly as I was hoping. I was hoping it would be before the end of the year, but now that I'm looking at the national focuses, guys, I don't think so. Just doing the math here, there are a lot of stuff we have to get before we're ready for conflict. So, it's probably not going to be this episode. Maybe next. I don't know. We'll see you guys. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and let it start playing so we can uh, progress things. So, oh yes. My bad. I messed up a few other things as well. Last episode, I was incredibly distracted. And that was my bad, guys. Um, just everything with the, with the storm. Um, with the storm and then the you know, my wife calling and just the alerts and just everything else. Left me recording that late. Uh, I was just really distracted. I made a few mistakes. One of them was the fact that I, for a, s a brief period, thought it was 1940. That's why I was looking at the ships and the, and the planes, and we even started researching a plane. Uh, and that was my bad, guys. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and change up uh, the research 
uh, here. So we're not researching something that's so far away. Obviously, that doesn't make any damn sense. Uh, now, we'll get to keep the research that we've invested. Uh, so that 11.5% will actually be more by the time we get there. And I don't know, some of that might uh, decay. I don't, I don't remember how long it takes to decay. Uh, but what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to change up, uh, go away from the, the fighters here. We'll get those later. And instead get something that's actually a 1939 tech. I don't know what I was thinking, guys. Um, so let me just see here what we want to get. Probably infantry equipment. We'll change this up. Uh, and then we can do an adjustment to our government as well. Uh, another thing that was asked about was uh, us going for trade interdiction. Uh, so there's there's three different doctrines. This is typically considered the worst one. Um, so fleet and bean here, uh, that's, you know, gives you some, some great bonuses for your capital ships. That's really where... Uh, the capital ship bonuses are. There's also some great destroyer bonuses here as well. Um, so that's what Fleet and Bean is. Base Strike is carriers, and they have great carrier bonuses, some cruiser bonuses that are, are really good as well. Uh, trade Interdiction specializes in submarines, which obviously is useless for us because we're not going to use submarines. Um, but it also is kind of like a, uh, a good middle ground between the two. Uh, it has uh, way better battleship bonuses than Base Strike, way better carrier bonuses than Fleet and Bean, uh, so it's kind of middle ground in between battleships and, and carriers. Uh, and then it has the best light cruisers of all the doctrines. That's light cruisers, battle cruisers, and heavy cruisers. Um, one thing I didn't think about the fact that we're not building heavy cruisers or battle cruisers, though. So getting those bonuses is kind of useless uh, if we don't use those. So that's one thing I didn't, I didn't consider. Um, but what I was kind of going towards when, when I picked that was because there's some research bonuses for that particular doctrine. So I was like, oh, we'll go for that. So we can get those research bonuses. However, those research bonuses in this new tree here are part of a direction we're not actually going. Uh, as you guys can see here, the two research bonuses for that doctrine we're not going to get because we're not going down the U-boat effort. So what we could do is we could lose the, the time we spent on that doctrine and go ahead and switch over to one of the other two doctrines because uh, it would probably make more sense. Uh, to have one of those two, so considering the fact we're not using submarines and we're only using light cruisers, which is what that's really, really good at. Uh, or what we could do, because we do get some research bonuses, from what I'm seeing here, uh, for battle cruisers, and our battle cruiser production cost is down. Pretty much this branch does very much uh, focus on battle cruisers and battleships. What we could do, because the this uh, doctrine uh, here, oops, my bad, uh, this doctrine has uh, the best bonuses for cruisers in general. Um, what we could do is instead uh, actually start building battle cruisers. Uh, I think it would make sense for us to do that. Uh, I don't usually use battle cruisers, um, but you know what? We are going to go trade interdiction. I don't know. Just we never go for it. So why not? I know it's not the best, guys. It's really not. Um, Bleat and Bean is, is far better for those battleships and destroyers. This has the worst destroyer bonuses, trader interdiction. In fact, it'd make a lot of sense for us not to build destroyers, actually. And I think that's what we might do, is not even use destroyers. Uh, because light cruisers can do pretty much everything that destroyers can do. Um, they're not as good with, with submarines, but I don't think that's that's gonna be an issue, guys. Um, in fact, I, I think that's exactly what we're gonna do. Uh, we're probably gonna change this up. We'll continue building the destroyers for right now, so we can get a little little bit of a destroyer army. Um, or excuse me, destroyer fleet, uh, but I don't think we're going to use destroyers for much longer, guys. Instead, we're going to switch over to battle cruisers because uh, we just get such great bonuses for them. Uh, we don't have the battle cruiser shoe yet, so we're going to have to research those, uh, and that's going to replace uh, the destroyers in a way you know, as far as research and, and slots go. And we're just going to devote uh, all of our uh, naval efforts into light cruisers for our screens, and frankly, light cruisers are a lot better any damn way, so it makes sense. Uh, so I think that'll work out nicely, guys. Um, I know not everybody's going to agree with it, but its I know it's not efi the most efficient, but I'd like to go for something different uh, and maybe role play a bit because that's what Germany traditionally goes as, even if we're not a traditional Germany. And there's some great bonuses with it. Like I said, it does give bonuses to both your battleships and your carriers. Uh, it's kind of like the jack of all trades, master of none type thing, where I guess it's the master of submarines. And we just won't go for that submarine branch, which is fine. All right, so we need to go ahead and select... Um, well, we can get a chief of army first, I suppose, or we can get a, a military high command as far as the chief of army goes. I like going for this first because it's easier to select what you want because uh, there's only one slot, so you can only get one of these guys. Uh, so our choice is here uh, because we can't get that army drill bonus because he's he's a fascist. Um, so we can get the division speed plus 10%. We can get division attack, uh, or we can get the division organization 
all really, really good. So what I'm gonna do here may be a bit controversial. Uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be controversial in this campaign, guys. We're gonna do things a little bit different. Uh, things that you know, do something a little bit untraditional, uh, since we always seem to do the same thing in our campaigns. Uh, so normally I would go for organization or offensive, uh, get that attack up, get that organization up. That's obviously the smarter route to go. Uh, however, this time we're going to go army maneuver. We're going to try and create super fast divisions the way that we had in that French campaign just because it was so fun uh, having those really, really fast divisions. So we're going to get these, and then the way we'll make up for it is normally with my military I command, I'll get like two land uh, guys and then like one naval or air guy. We're not going to do that this time, guys, because I don't really care about uh, a lot of these naval bonuses here. We don't really have good naval bonuses. Um, and then interception, we rarely ever use that, so that's not really all that beneficial. Uh, close air support, we could get this guy. He would be useful, I suppose. Um, but we're not going to do any of that. What we're going to do is we'll get all three uh, land guys. We'll do infantry, we'll do armor, and that's the way we're going to get our attack up. And then this is where we can get the division recovery rate. Um, I think that's the way we're going to do it, guys. Uh, yeah. And then for our chief of army, let's get the division speed. I know, guys. I'm well aware that speed is not as important as attack or organization. But we're going to do that anyway because I just want to. I just want to try it out. Try a little something different out because. Um, it, it was so, it worked so well in that uh, French campaign. It was so fun too, just being able to move that fast. I enjoyed it. And I want to try it out in vanilla. So we're going to see how, how it goes, guys. Because I never prioritize division speed. I know it's important. Uh, obviously, being able to get that province before anybody else is incredibly important. But being able to win uh, in a battle is, is obviously far more important. So I often go for that instead. Uh, so let's go and continue uh, improving the battleships and the battle cruisers. I'm going to go and knock that out. And yeah, I didn't want to waste that one uh, research slot, um, you know, since we had pretty much finished that up. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, but yeah, I think it's going to be interesting going for a different naval doctrine since we never go for it. Uh, for good reason, obviously. So let's go ahead and get more military factories. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to need. Although, yeah, let's go and get more military factories, guys. I think that makes the most sense. Um, so... Some people are worried we won't have enough dockyard space, guys. We're going to have plenty. I'm not worried about it at all, guys. Um, it should not be an issue. Uh, a lot of people get worried about the dockyard space. I didn't realize it's 100% right there. Uh, a lot of people are worried about the dockyard space, but we rarely ever don't have enough space for the, the dockyards. Um, I think people might emphasize dockyards too much. You end up building a massive fleet, and then you don't even use it and just patrols around, and you don't uh, use it for anything. Uh, we're going to be relying on naval bombers a lot, obviously. We are going to get a massive fleet, though. Let me make that clear. Uh, well, what do we need? I don't actually know. Uh, infantry equipment. It seems that we're really short on the infantry equipment because we're building so many units, so we're going to want to get those. Uh, we're also going to need some more light tanks. All right, well, let's go and do our infantry t equipment. Let's go and tick those up a bit. And then let's also get the light tanks building Oops, uh, a bit more because uh, we pulled them all because we didn't need any more. Well, now we do. Uh, let me go ahead and take a look and see. Nope, nobody's done training here just yet. Those tanks are almost there. Uh, and excellent. We did finish those medium tanks. Let's go ahead and get them a bit of support. We're going to go and start building them immediately, actually. Uh, yeah, let's get them some artillery support. These are only going to take 30 days to get both of them. And let's go ahead and get the tanks building. Even if we don't have any factories to build them just yet, it's not like we have the experience to build out their uh, division design anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. We're building a ton of military factories, should have them done soon. What I'd like to go ahead and do, since these guys are on a front, might as well give them a planning bonus. Uh, even though, you know, I don't know when the war is going to break out, guys. What does that to see? Let's see how things go. I, don't, I, can't, I can't declare war on anybody, so I can't really force it myself because of the waiting for the 50% uh, world tension. Yeah, it kind of limits us a little bit. And that's one of the things about playing is not aligned. Not aligned is, is garbage in vanilla, guys. Uh, I do not like the way they did not aligned. Now, I imagine that Paradox is going to improve the way the ideologies and stuff work. I think there'll be an entire DLC focus towards it, guys. Uh, yeah, no, no template, that's fine. Uh, so rebuild the high seas fleet. We got it done, excellent. So those are the research bonuses for the battle cruisers and the battleships. We also got two more dockyards and our battleships and battle cruisers are gonna be cheaper to build. So that's in, uh, tremendously helpful. We're going to go ahead and continue down this, even if our place in the sun is not all that great. We're going to get it. Though I am really tempted to get the bulwark against the Bolshevism, just to get the factory and dockyard output. That would be super useful to have. It kind of tells everybody what direction we're going, that we're going to be... We'll be uh, against the, the communist. We're not going to ally with them, obviously. Um, I do want to go down here, though, as well. God. So many choices. Uh, I think we're going to get this first... And then we're going to work down on, on these ones because 
Yeah, this one doesn't give us any benefit just yet. Let's do that just to get the, so our factories and dockyards are gonna pump out stuff a little bit quicker. And um, there we go, Kingdom of Hungary just declared war on Austria. Uh, Italy just annexed Albania, um, which is expected, they always do. Let's see if they decide to go to war with the uh, Yugoslavians next. They're currently working on escort effort. Uh, the Hungarians are now at war with the Austrians. Let's see how that goes. I imagine they'll conquer them. Uh, so that'll be interesting to say the least. And uh, let's take a look at what the Brits are working on. They're doing development in Canada while, okay, yeah, they're going with the go with Britain. So that was one thing we were wondering with, is that they're gonna do little entente or go with Britain. They usually go with Britain and that's exactly what they decided to do this particular time. So they're gonna join the allies. So we're getting a very traditional campaign here uh, on that front. So, I don't know. Some people would say that's unfortunate uh, because we've seen it so many times. Uh, but we did go with uh, ourselves. We are going with a very traditional direction. So it's to be expected that that's how the AI would react to things. Even if we are not Nazis, we are kind of uh, doing the same approach to things. Uh, we are no longer get the effects from Rebuild the Nation. Well, that's, uh, that sucks. Uh, that was giving us a uh, quicker construction time. All right, we're done with all of these units here, so let's go and throw them into that Red Army. Red Army's gonna be a full army in no time. Uh, let's take a look at our units, see how we got things building here. Looking pretty good. I feel like we can build a few more light tanks. Uh, also, we finished up that research there, so we're gonna need to get both of those building, because I don't think I did the other one yet. Uh, and we do need to get artillery as well. Okay, let's take a look here. Um, let's do, let's go ahead and do artillery and then field hospitals. Uh, artillery's not going to take too long. It's only nine, 90 days. That's not bad. These guys do need to stop training. Can we throw any of these guys in here? You know what? We probably will go ahead and just throw them in now. I'll throw those ones in. Uh, and then get a few more divisions here. And then get all these guys training up here. This guy will go into the Red Army. They are now at 20, 20 divisions, guys. And I always check Romwell like he's been somehow getting traits, even though he hasn't been in combat, because I want to upgrade him. I want to make him better. Uh, so we are probably going to build more military factories. Well, let me just take a look. Where are we doing? How are we doing dockyards? We have 22 dockyards. Okay. Uh, we are going to need more dockyards, but I feel like we just don't have the military factories that we need just yet. So let's go ahead and continue building uh, military factories for at least a little while longer across here oh, and then we can also modify our government excellent uh, we could do chief of air force though because we have not done that we can't get that one okay hmm I would kind of prefer I mean I obviously prefer that one but you need a, a fascist uh, probably get this one I mean air experience gain is, is nice and all right and everything but you get that pretty quick and uh, pretty easily this would give us an immediate benefit to whenever we have bad weather, which seems like all the damn time. So I think we're gonna get that one, uh, which means we need complete air innovation. So that's not an option for us just yet. Uh, I think somebody's gonna unlock here. I'm not entirely sure, I believe we unlock somebody. Yeah, I think we're gonna get that guy. I don't think there's anything else here for us to get. No. All right, so yeah, we're gonna be getting uh, the fortification engineer once we finish up West Wall. Uh, so let's go and start working on the military high command. Uh, we're gonna do Go ahead and get our armor up first. We'll get Erwin Rommel. And uh, we are now in May of 1939. Uh, let's just go ahead and see what everybody's working on. They're investing in the old Polish region. We already know what they're working on. We know what Italy's working on as well. We do have military factories. And the Hungarians have conquered the Austrians fairly quickly. So Hungarians are getting more powerful. Um, we wouldn't have been able to annex Austria anyway. We don't have that uh, national focus to do so. So it's not that big of a deal. And I forgot to build these. Um, and we, we want them to be strong. Oops, I didn't want to do two of these. My bad. I'll just delete that, actually. And let's do another one. Uh, it was the uh, medium tank destroyers. There we go. All right, let's go and move these up. Oh, come on. Right there. And move these up as well. Now, I don't know when we're going to have the experience to do anything with these guys, honestly. Um, and to, oh, damn it. Yeah, I mean, because... And we had those national focuses that give a bit. We gotta do a lot of uh, adjustments to make a, a worthy uh, medium tank division. So we need to get field hospitals here. These guys don't have field hospitals. I know we gotta finish building this out, but I think field hospitals should be a priority. So let's go ahead and save that. And I don't know if that will result in these tanks here losing. Yep, they did. All right, well, that's all right. I'm gonna throw the back into the training army. 
Let's get that experience back. Uh, we got Concentrated Industry 2. Excellent. Let's go ahead and get the Advanced Machine Tools. And we'll be in 1940 in no time. And we'll be able to start researching those planes that I uh, uh, did earlier, which was my bad. Like I said, I was just extremely, and yeah, we know they're allying. I was just extremely distracted in the last episode. Uh, just so many things going on and with the weather and shit. I mean, that was one hell of a storm, too, guys. It went on all night. It never stopped. So I'm glad I didn't wait for it. So we did get the bulwark against Bolshevism. That's going to increase our factory and dockyard output and piss off the Soviet Union, which we don't really care about. Um, yeah, our trade relations is going to be garbage with them, but we weren't trading with them anyways. All right, let's go ahead and get our place in the sun. Uh, it does suck that the base war support is irrelevant to us because we're already 100%. Pretty much this is just negatives, but we do have to get it to get the next thing. That's only 35 days. I did not realize that. All right, so we'll be able to get that fairly quickly. Looks like the tanks are done now. Yeah, they're done. Didn't take very long. Get trained up. Let's place them over here. Uh, so, like I said, as far as who we're going to war with first, um, I guess if I had to choose, it'd be the Soviet Union. Uh, if we get the option, I would like to go to the Soviet Union and hopefully not be at war with the uh, Allies. Uh, when we do so, so we don't have to fight a two-front war. That would be the optimum outcome. Uh, if we could just get uh, Soviet Union defeated, it's usually not too challenging. Uh, the question is, of course, how to do so. Well, right now we can't declare war on anybody uh, because we just don't have the ability to justify war goals, so we're kind of stuck. Uh, so we kind of are dependent on the national focuses, and they don't give us any claims against anybody on the Eastern Front. So that's difficult. There is one that lets uh, us get Danzig from the Polish if we guarantee them. Yeah, I just don't know how that's gonna end up working out. Uh, this direction has some issues since it doesn't result in them allying with you unless you go down this direction, guys. I think this direction creates a whole separate faction. Like uh, it says right here, create faction, the anti-communist block. So you're like the leader of the anti-communist block and then you get like the Polish in it, I think, if they, they agree to join the Finns. Uh, as well as uh, pretty much, well, the whole Finnish, or the whole Polish uh, uh, faction isn't, yeah, they're in their own faction, so I don't know how that would work out. Uh, but really, there's just no options, guys. It's I'm kind of restricted going this route, um, uh, rather than the Nazi one. Everything was clearly designed for the Nazi route. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and do the Central Powers, because this would result in the Kingdom of Hungary joining. So we'd get our first uh, alliance, so that's what we're going to do. And then I'll also make sure that the Hungarians don't try and get frosty with us or anything like that. Uh, which they're currently working on announcing the Goryar program. That's for industry. Okay. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and create the central powers now, guys. I think that'd be wise. Also, uh, China is now offering us um, trade here. This is one of those uh, small trade provinces um, that Germany once held. I think it's that one. Yes. Uh, so uh, they will grant us... Uh, access to this port here. Chinese officials have contacted us, contacted us with an offer of a potential trade, which they say will satisfy both parties. They propose to return uh, Qingdao, I probably mispronounced that, to rightful German hands in return for a guarantee that they that we will not recall von Valkenhausen's mission. Uh, that's their... Um, it's like an advisor or something they have here for a national spirit, I believe. I believe it's a national spirit. Yeah, the German military advisors. I don't know if they get, get anything down here, I don't recall. Uh, but they do get the the land. Yeah, this is supposed to be him right here. Uh, they do get the land doctrine research time because of us. So obviously it's not something they wouldn't want to lose, and we get this little province that's, you know, doesn't give us much, but we're going to take it. Uh, so let's go and do so. I am fine with that. Uh, and that did grant us a civilian factory. So we got a civilian factory. Most importantly, we got a port in Asia. That's the beginning of the German Asian Empire because we are going to regain our colonies. The Kaiser cannot allow the British and French to hold all the colonies. It is time for for us to become a colonial power. And this time, they're not going to stop us. There's no stopping us. All right, so I think we're going to go ahead and get the, uh, the field hospital twos. And then we have outdated equipment. That is our infantry equipment. Let's change that up and get all those upgraded. Uh, and yeah, we're good to go. What is what is that we got in here? Nothing. All right, I'm not entirely sure what it was. That's uh, blinking at me saying, hey, you got this. And China restores German rule. There we go, guys. That's kind of a big moment. I know it doesn't look like much because it's, it's one little sure. province with a civilian factory in it. It just doesn't seem like much. 
It's it's more symbolic than anything, guys. We are back on the world stage. Uh, so we need to trade for oil and tungsten. Uh, but first, we need to assign some military factories. Uh, so let me just take a look at our stockpiles. Infantry equipment starting to fix itself. However, light tanks is still still not doing great. So let's go and get some uh, some more uh, factories going to light tanks. Where, where? Here we go. Let's go and pump two more to that. Let's go and go one more to the medium tanks. And how are we doing on support equipment and artillery? Artillery and support. All right, we could probably put a bit more into support as well. Let's go and uh, fix our trade situation. And we can no longer just trade with Venezuela and Romania. They don't have enough anymore. Let's do one with Iran. Uh, and then the tungsten. We'll have to continue trading with the Portuguese, which I'm okay with that. Uh, we did get our artillery. We're just knocking these techs out today. Excellent. Um, well, we already have... Let me just kind of swing through here and see what we want to do. Um, and we got some nice research bonuses for all of our ships. With the exception of cruisers. We're not going to get any for cruisers, unfortunately. Um, it's not quite close enough to 1940 yet. So we're not going to work on that. Uh, yeah, I think what we're going to do is let's continue down our land doctrines. Uh, yeah, we're going to get this. This improve our tanks a bit more. And it seems that we have uh, some shit here we got to do. Uh, we've got to change up the artillery. Oh, yeah, I don't know why that's blinking at me. Uh, we need to... Uh, see what this decision is. Ban Democratic parties? No, we're not going to ban Democratic parties. We don't need to do that. Where are we at anyway? I think these are all ticking down, by the way. Uh, the I don't know. Well, the communists aren't. I think the dem democracy ones. Uh, we have that ticking down. Uh, we're at 58% for Wilhelm's party. We can modify our governments as well. So let's go and take care of that. We are going to do another high command here. We're probably going to get the infantry. That's what I'm thinking. Or we could do the division recovery rate. Let's do the division recovery rate. That helps our whole army. We'll do the infantry next. Unless we're able to get the air one, which I don't think will be the case. Oh, okay. We have gotten a tech, um, a doctrine specifically. We're not going to continue with the doctrines any longer. I don't think there's so many other things that we need to get right now. Uh, so let's go ahead and take care of that first. I'm just going to swing through here. All right, we have something going there. Not quite 1940 here. Okay, so what we are going to get is the... Uh, Kind of want to do anti-tanks next. Or we do air doctrines. Yeah, let's get the air doctrine. And then for our next national focus, central powers have been created. And let's see what we want to do here. So we're going to prepare for the Italian coup. Um, yeah, that's definitely something we're going to want to do. Uh, and then the other option is the rekindle imperial sentiment. So what does this do now that Austria is gone? Uh, it means that they'll get support for unaligned, both Czechoslovakia and the Kingdom of Hungary. Um, when unaligned support is high enough, it enables decisions for these nations to reform the Austro-Hungarian Empire and join the Central Powers. Okay, well, I think they're already going to be in the Central Powers. Yeah. So the uh, Kingdom of Hungary is already in the Central Powers. They're allied with us. Um, they have the legitimacy in power. Fascism is a bit strong. Um, more stronger than we'd want. Obviously, here in Czechoslovakia, we got to worry about the democratic support. Um, so we're not going to be able to attack these guys. Remember, we are going to be creating an Austria-Hungary, but that's okay. We'll have our southern border. Uh, you know, we'll have some, uh, an ally on our southern border. It's just it's not quite the way you do with the Nazis, and I like that. It's, it's different. Um, so what we're going to do is let's go in and go for this so we can start getting their unaligned down as soon as possible, down to unaligned as soon as we can, specifically with the, the Czechs, uh, so that we can get them into the faction. We don't want them, like, joining the allies or anything like that. Um, obviously, that would it be in our best interest. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a weaker overall Germany than a Nazi Germany. Um, that's just the way it is with this uh, with this branch, honestly. Uh, it's just uh, just not as good as the oh, Nazi awesome. branch in many ways. But that's okay. That's okay, guys. Uh, let's go and throw these four into that Red Army, and then let's take a look at how we're doing here. Um, all right, we can go and pump those guys in. Let's go ahead and throw some more uh, divisions in. Get some more of these guys as well. And uh, let's let them continue building. Uh, it seems that we are not getting imports from from who? Who is it? It's somebody with oil. Okay, it's Venezuela. They don't have the oil to to supply us any longer. Well, that's a, that's a shame. Let's see. Who are we going to trade with then? Colombia. We're just making, we're spreading our love out. Spreading our factories out. 
Still working on those uh, tanks. Got construction as well. Let's get excavation. Got the nice research bonus for that. So that's going to be 62 days away. And we'll be able to get that knocked out and improve the resource situation at home. But really, the oil and rubber still a problem, guys. We need to get working on that. Actually, I should have already had done that. That's my bad. Uh, we'll work on it soon. I know it's only one, guys, but you know we're going to need it. So it's fine. Trading for it right now. Uh, so when do we get the next tech done? If we get one done before 1940, what we might end up doing... We're going to get a lot done here soon. We need to start working on getting that oil and rubber situation dealt with. Because it's not going to get any better, guys. And I was hoping for an early war with the Netherlands to fix the situation. But that's not happening because world tension is, is kind of delaying us right now. Uh, also, we need to check to see how the Japanese are doing against the Russians. First, we'll check and we'll get our national focus, uh, which is going to be the prepare the Italian coup. Let's go take care of that, guys. Uh, so, let's take a look and see how they've been doing. All right, so remember we have Japan. They're currently at war. Well, are they at war with the Soviets? Not yet. Hmm. Yeah, they're not at war with the Soviets. Just communist China, Mongolia, and Tenutuva. Huh. Surprised that the Soviets haven't uh, backed them up yet, but yeah, that means that uh, they're not fighting yet. Uh, which is probably good for Japan, though I don't think they have any route to attack anybody. No, they do not. Yeah, they have no way. Oh, wait, no, they can attack Mongolia right here. Yeah, they're attacking through here, that's right. So they're winning. The Japanese are winning. Uh, so they might be able to get all this conquered while the Soviets just sit on the sidelines. That's awesome. All right, so that's the way that's going. Uh, we got our advanced machine tools. Let's go ahead and get... Oh, we're done here. Excellent. So, I said I was going to get something. I don't remember what it was. <laughs> so, we'll have to swing through here and hopefully I can find it. Uh, what the hell did I say I was going to get? Um, oh, yes. That's right. Now I remember. Uh, we were going to improve our refineries. Because getting refineries right now would kind of be useless. Uh, because, frankly, um, they don't really do much. So, how many factories are we devoting towards rubber right now? We're getting three. I need to see what's more priority. Obviously, it will. Okay. So let's go ahead and tick the oil up first. We're going to need to get all that, though, with refineries, because we don't really have any uh, any other option. Uh, we can now uh, do something else here, get somebody else, and we already know who we're going to get. We're going to be getting our infantry guy. This is going to be some nice bonuses for the infantry. And we do have justification against, again, Romania. What is Romania doing? They're aligned with Hungary. So for some reason, yeah, that's weird. Let me just take a look at what's going on here. Uh, gets event Romania demand just changes the government. Huh. Okay. That's concerning. Yeah, they went for the Balkan dominance. Which obviously is not good for us. We might have trouble with Romania here. Hmm. Alright, well, I would hope that the Hungarians know that we got their backs. And they wouldn't uh, submit to the Romanians. That's going to be a problem if they do, because... What do they want change to? Because they're both not aligned. That's weird. And yeah, what are they going to change them to? We're going to take a look at that in a second. Uh, let's go... Ex excavation is finished. So let's go ahead and see what else we're going to get here. Um, still in 1939. Solidly, solidly in 1939. So let's get some... Uh, probably get one of these ones. We'll get the anti-tanks. Not using anti-air. I stopped using anti-air, guys. I used to like it. I mean, I guess I still do, because it, it, it has um, you know some great bonuses for helping your troops out uh, in the air war. But now I just kind of have trended to like always seek air superiority. Um, if you're playing as a major, uh, really, it seems like anti-air is just really useful for for miners. Now it has bonuses besides the the air ability. Obviously, it can work as anti-tank as well, which is can be quite effective. Uh, let's go ahead and get oh. This is, the, this is the fort one? Yeah, that's the fort one. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and do the engineers. We know we're going to want to get them eventually. But yeah, I tend to uh, only use AA when I play as minor countries now. And it's just, uh, I would just rather have air superiority. Just destroy the, the uh, enemy air force. And it's just, it's just you've got to have air superiority. It's so powerful. It didn't used to be as powerful as it is now. Uh, they, and then they, they made it overly powerful and they had to nerf it again. All right, so... I think we should go ahead and start working on synthetic refineries. We'll get a few of these guys um, in the 100% locations. 100% there. I thought there was another one right around here. Uh, yeah, right there. We're going to get a few of these in all of our 100% locations. And I suppose we'll also go after one of these 80% locations too. Right there. All right. 
So it'll give us five of them. Should help fix a little bit of the oil uh, situation. Maybe get some of our civilian factories back. Uh, we do have military factory assigned, so let's go ahead and take care of that. Let me just take a look and see what exactly we need. Still, infantry and the tank situation isn't getting any better. Uh, we're not building enough, frankly, uh, for as much as we're uh, doing with them. So let's go ahead and pump those into that. And then obviously the infantry equipment needs to get solved as well. All right, so we are short. We actually don't need this much tungsten. So let's go ahead and pull back. And then instead give that to somebody for oil. I hate having to trade with the United States, so we're going to avoid doing it for as long as possible. Since we know the United States is probably going to be enemy. Uh, they almost always are. They don't have any alternate history routes. Uh, yet I can't wait until all the majors have their national focus trees adjusted or, or you know revamped uh, It'll be great uh, because yeah, as of right now you kind of know that Nobody else is going alternate history um, Just the way it is so we have the restoration of Austria Hungary, which is great news uh, And the Soviet Union just declared war on Poland. Wow. Okay. Well, maybe we'll have a border now with the Soviet Union That's actually not bad news. Um, I'm okay with it I'm fine. Um, it does create some issue here. I wish we could have got the Danzig from them first. Maybe we still be will be able to. I don't know. I don't know how we're gonna do that. Um, but yeah, let's. We did the prepare the Italian coup as well. Uh, we'll take care of that in a minute. Uh, I want to read this though. Restoration of Austrian Hungary with the unif reunification of Austria and Hungary completed. The Hungarian government has gathered international press in Budapest and announced the restoration of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. King Otto has assumed his rightful title as Emperor of Austria and has reiterated his vow that though the empire is yet but a shadow of its former shelf, self, uh, we sh he shall not rest until all Habsburg lands have been reunited. Their neighbors undoubtedly eye the proceedings in Budapest seriously, or suspiciously, excuse me. I'm just making up words here, just throwing words in there. Uh, so now they want to protect Czechoslovakia. This is the route we want them to go. Um, so, yeah, we want them to combine this lands here. Uh, and yeah, we should be able to build up a nice, strong ally in the south. Uh, we're building the central powers up again, guys. So, let's see what we're going to do next. Uh, it should be interesting having the th the three allies here in Europe. I'm so used to, as a, you know, because it's Nazis, you just have Italy as the only major power. So, do we want to do this now? Or do we need to wait for the non-aligned to tick up? Let me just see here. German assassination of Mussolini, uh, politics will change, public elections will not be held, change in popularity and non-aligned goes up to 10%, daily support for, non for unaligned is 0 0.10. I hate how they change, they use both the names, non-aligned and unaligned, it's really confusing. Uh, Victor Emmanuel becomes the party leader, Italy joins central powers, um, gets event, Mussolini, uh, assassination succeeds. I wonder if that's going to, oh, if it, no, if it exceeds no matter what. The Italians are attempting to befriend Romania. I think we should go ahead and start doing it now. Uh, we're not getting any non-aligned points here, unfortunately. Let's just do it, and hopefully it succeeds. If it doesn't, that's going to be, we'll be super salty. And we'll have to attack the Italians. All right, so we're going to try to assassinate Mussolini. Italians accept coup proposals. So elements in the Italian government and underground have accepted our proposal for a coup. They are making preparations for a swift seizure of power for the king as soon as the assassination has happened. We can set our plans in motion. Yeah, but still no non-aligned support just yet. Empire of Japan has joined. Oh, wow. They joined the Polish faction. <laughs> oh, that is great. Wow. I was really hoping they'd join our faction, but yeah. Yeah, I guess that does mean that Japan will at least, at the very least, be at war with the Soviet Union. But it's unfortunate because, yeah, now Japan will not be in our, our faction. Well, it is what it is, guys. Nothing to be, uh, nothing to be done about it. Uh, and yeah, I, I probably should have went for that focus that gives us Danzig, but we really need to try and get Italy uh, into the faction as soon as possible. And I think we're a few away. I don't think we'll ever get Danzig, guys. Uh, let me just see here. Yeah, we have... So we have to get to the C to the Eastern Front. So we have two national focuses. We might have been able to if we had done it instead of the one we're doing. Uh, but now there's no way. Because they might have lasted 140 days and then they would have given us Danzig. Um, but yeah, they're not going to last... 100 and or would that be 210 days uh yeah they're not gonna last that long so all right yeah they might not even last to the 140 frankly they might not last 70 they are getting pushed back very rapidly as expected uh they're you know expected to lose can change up our government uh we have to wait to get the all-weather guy um and we have to wait to get the fortified okay so we can't do anything uh yeah because there's nothing we can do here at the moment okay 
So we're just going to be stacking political power for right now. That's all right. Uh, we could also take a look if we have any decisions maybe we want to execute. We did get the direct ground support, so that's excellent. Uh, and I think, yeah, we're in 1940, so let's go ahead and get those fighters that we were working on. We already have some of it researches, as I said before. We did keep all that done, so that's nice. Uh, so it should be a little bit quicker to get that than normal. Um, and... We got anti-tanks, and what do we have? Oh, yes, that's right. I'm over here. I'm going to click that every goddamn time, guys. I already know. So we got our anti-tank upgrades, and it does look like it's going to be end of the episode as well. So let's go ahead and select ourselves some new research, and then we're going to end it here. Uh, and we need to get the 1940 stuff. I think we're going to go after ships. That makes the most sense, guys. Let's do the battleships first. Um, we'll get the battleships going. And, yeah, we are good to go. Let's go ahead and end the episode here. Do we have troops done training? We do. we got a ton of troops done training. So much so that we can now start creating our third army, uh, which is excellent news. Uh, and what I want to do here, I really want to get a motorized army, but, yeah, we just don't have enough divisions for that at the moment. Uh, yeah, we're not going to be able to do that. All right, so what we're going to do, how many tanks do we have in this army? We have two. All right, so let's go ahead and take two of these guys, throw them in there. Throw them in there. And then take the rest, create a new army here. Uh, doesn't really care about, I don't care about the color just yet. Let's just place them, oh, let's see, where would we want to place them? All right, we already have the ones here in Berlin. We're going to need to get troops there, obviously. Um, we'll just wait, though. Let's go ahead and throw these guys down here in Munich for right now. Uh, so we have some troops down in the south. So we'll throw them down there, and then we'll need to give them a couple more divisions as well. And you guys coming over here as well. All right, looking good, guys. Uh, we will take a look, see if we have any slots yet. Yeah, we do. We can go ahead and train some more troops up. Uh, we have experience as well to make some adjustments. We'll do that next episode. Uh, remember, we still need suggestions. No, don't bother with motorized because I don't know if we'll keep those. Still need suggestions for the mountain troops and the paratroopers. So I'd love to hear what you guys provide, and we'll pick the best ones. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure you leave that like, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our content, and leave that comment. Love talking to you guys. Uh, comment about whatever, how the series is going, what you would like us to do in the future, if you got any ideals. Always willing to hear you out. And then, of course, those name suggestions for the two divisions we're looking to, to name. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.